Hi there, I'm Anil Akhani from SignalFX. Uh, as you might have heard Adrian mention, if you haven't, didn't see our booth out there, we're basically a monitoring platform for modern distributed applications, so ideal for things like Mesos. Um, and we're built on a streaming analytics engine, so you can do things like percentiles or large-scale aggregations in real time against the data as it's flowing. That's my entire pitch. Uh, so we have, uh, we did the hackathon all day um, the day before the conference. We had three winners, a first, second, and third place winner. Are you guys here? Is our first place winner here? We asked you if you could come up and present. Where? Where? Oh, sweet. Excellent. Get up here. <laughs> Clap. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, anyone know how to get them set up? So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you built while Dave helps out here? Okay, uh, so we, we built a new Mesos framework for running SAMSA stream processing jobs. Got it. I'm Zach, by the way, from Iowa. Hi, Adrian. Sorry, this was really short notice. Okay, uh, so my coworker Joe Winder and I at the hackathon built this thing called Heat Blast. Um, it is a Mesos framework for running SAMSA jobs. Uh, SAMSA is a stream processing engine, pretty tightly coupled with Apache Kafka. Um, but, you know, just a stream processing job uh, processes some incoming stream of events, does something, processes them somehow, and then outputs it to something else. Um, SAMSA, out of the box, um, comes with support for running on Yarn, but we wanted to run a Mesos. Um, so I think one of the LinkedIn people wrote a Mesos framework for SAMSA, another company forked that, and then we forked their fork, um, added in Docker support, and made it work. Uh, we're running this thing in production. One of the problems we had with it is that every SAMSA job gets its own Mesos scheduler, so you end up with tons and tons of frameworks. Um, we really wanted just one scheduler to interact with that can run all the SAMSA jobs, so uh, we decided to try to do that. It's kind of an experiment at the hackathon. Um, so this is, probably we can't even read this. Um, one of the challenges with the SAMSA jobs is that before you could run the SAMSA job out on Mesos, you have to compute a bunch of stuff that's really specific to that SAMSA job. So the first thing the scheduler does is uh, run a very short-lived Mesos task to compute all this information about how to run the SAMSA job, communicates that back to the generic uh, scheduler, which then can go out and run a whole bunch of Mesos tasks to run this SAMSA job. Um, as a little example, uh, we're gonna consume the Twitter streaming API, so we have a, a hook, a little producer that uh, consumes from the streaming API, writes to a Kafka topic, and then there's two SAMSA jobs that process that thing. Um, so, okay, so this should bring up the Twitter producer. Uh, of course, it's not going to work in the demo now. <laughs> oh, come on. 
But I don't know what Marathon is waiting for. Oh, did they die? If I need to end this, I can. But let me give it one more try. Uh, so we're running, this Mesos cluster is all running in Docker containers on my, my laptop here. Apparently the Mesos agent containers died. So let's try this again. Okay, that looks better. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Live demo. <laughs> okay, so as soon as this is done staging, uh, that will start consuming from the Twitter streaming API and throwing everything into a Kafka topic. Okay, so now we're going to use Marathon to launch the Heat Blast scheduler. So that thing's coming up. Okay, so we now have a Mesos task that's running our, our framework scheduler. Uh, it has a REST API HTTP server in it that we can use to interact with. So this is sort of like Marathon for SAMSA jobs. So here I'll copy two curl commands to post, um, to tell our scheduler to go run those two SAMSA jobs. So you probably can't read that, it's just curl post little blob of JSON describing the job and the Docker container we want to run the job from. Okay, so here you can see this compute job info is the little short-lived Mesos task that's computing a bunch of stuff. That finished. Um, now these uh, three containers are the three SAMSA containers for that SAMSA job. Um, here's this other short-lived task here that's running. That should finish pretty quickly. Um, while we're waiting for that. Uh, so what this is doing is basically counting the number of tweets by username. Okay, so both jobs are running. Okay, now we're going to Okay, so there's the live stream of the output of those SAMSA jobs, which is showing the number of tweets for each um, Twitter user that it's seen. A lot of ones there, but you might see a two fly by. Uh, so yeah, live demo. Thanks. So congratulations, thank you very much for participating in a hackathon. It's nice to see uh, so many people show up at the hackathon and actually hack all day. I've been to a lot of hackathons and rarely have I seen them be so productive um, or sometimes so serious. And it was also nice that a lot of people who are Mesos maintainers or committers or part of deeply in the Mesos community came to the hackathon and were there to help out anytime teams got stuck. That's uh, pretty rare and I wanna thank everybody who did that. Um, do we have the second and third place winners here by any chance? Yep. Oh, here we go. Uh, one of you guys want to? Are you designated presenter? Yes. Hello? Oh, cool. That works. So, hi, I'm here with the PayPal Hackathon team. Uh, this is Mohit, uh, and this is Tejas, and uh, we actually worked on creating a Compose Executor for Docker. Um, for this demo, we'll be running it on, on Aurora, but... Oh, okay. Let me uh, get the display fixed real quick.
so. Um, so we actually, I, I'm an intern at PayPal and I've been working on integrating custom executor support for Aurora. And uh, this particular uh, executor can actually run on, on both Marathon and Aurora. If you go onto our GitHub repository for this, uh, you'll see screenshots uh, of it running on Marathon. Uh, but for the purposes of this demo, we wanted to run it on Aurora. Uh, so we'll see if I can do this uh, from here. Let me uh, make sure that the command is right. So we're going to go ahead and create the task. Uh, we're using a custom client right now uh, in order to do this. And of course it would refuse to work right now. That says demo. Okay, well, the task got created, but it doesn't want to launch, unfortunately, right now. And uh, we'll wait around just a second to see if it'll, it'll start. But aside from that, uh, yeah, it looks like it doesn't want to contribute right now. All right, so we're actually gonna do a switcheroo right now. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Now it's actually running, and you can see uh, the STDR. Uh, I launched the containers, the STD out, uh, and we actually integrated Weddy into this so we could have a live uh, terminal. And you can see that it's using the same namespace. And on this side, I'm going to do a Docker PS. And you can see that the three containers got launched. And we could look at the Aurora task as well. So yeah, the Aurora task is now running. And, uh, we also have Redis running. Uh, but. Switch it over. And yep. We have Redis running right now. And uh, yeah, that's it for our demo. Thank you, guys. Uh, is third place here? Yes? No? 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 OK, I'll get in touch with them and send them their prize. Awesome. Uh, they're gift cards, so I didn't want to... Oh, the third winner. Oh, yeah. Who's the third winner? I can look it up. Hang on. I have email. Third winner is Reflex from Brian Hicks of Aster. If anybody knows him, he won. Let him know. 